At number five, we have Hot Toys Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. In my opinion, no Hot Toys Groot has surpassed the original. In fact, a case could be made that Groot is not that different from the Hulk insofar as character development is concerned. So similar to the early versions of the Hulk being the best, Groot actually peaked in Guardians 1. From a figure perspective, this figure has a ton of presence. It's beautifully engineered with the joints being minimally visible and the outer shell of the body looking very bark-like. This had to be a difficult figure for Hot Toys to engineer and I for one am so glad they did it. I don't have this screaming head sculpt, but the stoic one looks great to me. At number four, we have IG-11. As of me recording this video, IG-11 is a figure that you can regularly find for a hefty discount. This is a figure that has special meaning to me, mostly because of his presence in the very first episode of The Mandalorian. Like many Star Wars fans, The Mandalorian is a cherished property for me. IG-11 represents a pivotal part of Star Wars history for the badassery he pulls off in not only episode one, but also the finale of season one. The figure itself has a ton of presence. It has articulated fingers, die cast parts, and is simply a beautifully engineered figure. IG-11 is outside of the box for Hot Toys, and I love it. At number three, we have Hot Toys' Eric Killmonger. Killmonger is probably one of the more surprising Hot Toys in terms of its aftermarket performance. While it's gone a bit above retail, I thought for sure this would become a grail. It has a beautiful suit, a stellar head sculpt, and tons of presents on the shelf. This is one of the figures that I find myself going back to look at fairly frequently because of how much presence it has. This is an amazing character portrayed by an amazing actor recreated into a beautiful figure, and I honestly can't say enough good things about it. At number two, we have the Hot Toys 1 to 1 Infinity Gauntlet. This may be one of the most slept on Hot Toys releases ever. The 1 to 1 Hot Toys Infinity Gauntlet from Avengers Infinity War is a work of art. While it's not actual metal, it more than looks the part. It's a massive presence commanding piece that lights up with two different lighting modes, a static mode and a breathing mode. The breathing mode that I prefer because it makes the stones feel alive. This costs about 900 plus dollars at retail, but I luckily scored mine for a deal from another collector a while back. I absolutely love this piece. At number one, we have Infinity War Thanos. Infinity War Thanos is a stunning figure and in my opinion is the best Hot Toys Thanos release to date. I've owned them all and I can say that in my opinion the head sculpt and paint apps are the best on the Infinity War Thanos. The armor is amazing as are the skin tones and you actually get a swappable arm for this figure. Something that I don't believe Hot Toys has done since. I also have a special connection to this figure because Infinity War is actually my favorite movie and this is the iconic Thanos who won. That said, this is a super awesome, highly underrated figure. Thank you all for watching. Let me know some of your favorite underrated hot toys in your collection in the comments below. Don't forget to also like and subscribe to the channel on your way out for more content like this. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.